So g'day guys, we're on the line with guitarist Martin Larson from Swedish Melodic Death Metal Pioneers at the Gates. Uh, thank you very much for taking the time to speak with me today, Martin. Yeah, thanks for calling. No worries. Um, I just want to kick things off by talking a bit about your latest album, At War With Reality. Um, now that it's had a bit of time uh, since its release and it's had some time to sink in for both yourself and fans, uh, how would you say it compares to Slaughter of the Soul? Um, I don't think there's too much of a difference. It's Considering it's been 19 years, uh, I, I'd say it's, it's pretty hard to tell. Uh, but it's, uh, I guess what's most obvious is, is uh, there's a different maturity to it. Uh, and it's, it's a little, I mean, if you compare directly to, to Slaughter of the Soul, uh, we still love it. We're still super happy with it, but it's a little one dimensional, uh, which was necessary at the time. It was kind of a cathartic thing uh we we had we went to through some rough times and it was uh like a, a final scream of a record um uh, but now this new one is a little bit more rounded it's uh it's a bit more varied um yeah and uh what was it like during the writing and recording process did you feel any pressure or was it sort of good just getting back together and recording again I think if, if there was any pressure, it was before we even started writing music. Then once you're into the whole process, you kind of you're so immersed in in all that that you you don't have time to think about anything else. Uh, creative uh, creating things is really it's uh, you you go up into it so much, so everything else all kind of worries and insecurities just disappear. Absolutely. So you've been touring in support of the album for some time now. Uh, how have the tracks gone down live, the new ones? Uh, surprisingly well. It's, it feels like in some places they know the new stuff even better than the old stuff. Uh, so it's it's been really rewarding touring this new album. Excellent. And so us fans in Australia will have the chance to hear that new material for the first time next week when you arrive here for your At War of Reality tour. Um, are you looking forward to getting back down under? Yes, of course. Uh, me personally, it's only my second time, so I'm super happy to go there. But I'm sure we all are, even even the ones that have been there plenty of times. Absolutely. Do you know how many new tracks you'll be playing yet? Um... I can't remember exactly the number, but I'd say about a third of those had this, this new stuff. How do you rate the Australian crowds compared to places like in Europe and in America? Um, I'd say they're about the same. That's the weird thing about metal. It's uh, it's not really a difference all over the world. It's, uh, we're all the same, I'd say, uh, which is a good thing. It's uh, We feel at home wherever we go. Awesome, mate. And you guys have chosen a number of Aussie metal bands as supports for this upcoming tour. Um, are you familiar with the Aussie metal scene? Yeah, I, I am, but mostly I wrote to a lot of bands in the back in the 90s. So uh, um, there's only so, so many hours in a day, and I, 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 always, I keep meaning to, to check out all the new stuff. Uh, out of the newer bands in Australia, I'd say Portal are my favorite. But uh, you have such a good history. I used to write with Acheron and the Christ Bait and Armored Angel, especially Communion had to be one of the best metal songs ever. Uh, just prior to arriving to in Australia, uh, you'll be playing uh, at the Not Fest Festival in the US, and then you're also booked in for a bunch of festivals later in the year and next year. Um, yeah. Do you prefer playing the festivals, yeah. or do you prefer like the int intimacy of a club gig? I, I like the variety. But if if I had to choose one, I'd say uh, there's a, a whole different intimacy playing clubs. And uh, now for the big question, which you, you're probably not actually going to be able to answer, but do you think there's any chance that we'll get to hear another a At The Gates record in the future? Well, there's definitely a chance, but we'll have to find out together because uh, this, this last year, it's been so busy and we're still booked uh, until August already 
So uh, there's just no time to think about um, the future other than just the next show and the next show. Um, we'll, we'll have to see once once this slows down if we have new music in us. We're not going to push it. Yeah, but you're not ruling it out. That's good enough for us. <laughs> and so just to finish up, um, do you have any advice for any young people out there that might be looking to make it in a band? Um, no, I'd say just believe in yourself. It's it's hard to... <laughs> this is also cliché, uh, but um, just, you know, if you find something you love, just go on doing it. When we started back in the 80s, playing on this level was it wasn't even thinkable um but you know the world changes and things happen so just do thumbs do, do do whatever you believe in that's that's what i say brilliant well thanks very much for your time today martin uh good luck with the tour and uh we can't wait to see you next week no us neither it's a, uh, it's gonna be so good awesome. um thank you for the time and this work see you next week